green morning green afternoon green evening hope you are taking care of yourself your family your neighbors your community your society and all the people those are directly indirectly associated with you in touch with you in networking with you kindly take care of every one please look after yourself because situation is is getting little out of hand and uh, more cases are coming up yesterday night last night in india uh, again you know it it is the highest peak which has touched since 25th of march 2020 i'm talking about last year so thereby ladies and gentlemen while praying for everybody's good health and wellness we start today's program we have got about nine programs today lined up and we extend a very warm welcome in this particular webinar because women empowerment is very important when we talk about vasudev kutumbakam women when you talk about they are sister also they are mother also they are teacher also they are counselor also they are daughter also they are granddaughter also they are daughter in law also they are wife also so women play a very important role in our universe pura jo brahmand hai the whole universe is because of women and that's the way whether it is a brahma or it's a vishnu or it's mahesh whosoever you talk about all devi devtas when we keep right before us we got to respect women we got to recognize women we got to empower women we got to inspire women and we got to listen to women all the things are very very important today is 852nd webinar we have come a long way we started our journey on 25th of march 2020 and ladies and gentlemen we are grateful we are thankful to all our brothers and sisters across the universe from the different continents from the different countries in the different time zones they have been the part of this particular journey and this morning we are privileged we have been joined by dr gauri ramachandran ji she is excellence installation specialist particularly with the nlp you talk about neuro linguistic programming economist chartered uh, wealth manager author and she is a guest columnist and she is a speaker in media we also extend a very warm welcome this morning to dr nirmala alex ji she is the assistant professor department of social work stella maris college chennai that's in tamil nadu for the benefit of those who are watching us from abroad and they are from different nationalities i'm grateful to all my advisors those are joining from i know it's pretty early morning for you in germany in spain in france and in london particularly people those are joining from hounslow they are joining from piccadilly line they are joining from university of surrey and some of the people are from the gatwick also we extend a very warm welcome to all of you people those are joining us from australia new zealand i know you all have enjoyed your lunch and thereafter you are going for your evening coffee and tea and people those are in southeast asia myanmar cambodia laos singapore malaysia thailand indonesia philippines brunei they all are going for their lunch so well here we are and we are having yet another very powerful program women empowerment saturday 24th of april 2021 and we are going to extend a very warm welcome to all of you our chamber international chamber for service industry ladies and gentlemen it's a link between india and indian diaspora there are 31 million indians overseas in different countries and you know fortunately when i have got two of the distinguished guests this morning from tamil nadu i have got uh, our advisor who is in houston professor dr vivek shankar natrajan also originates from tamil nadu although he had his education in karnataka and thereafter he is in the lamar university who is coordinating all the program uh, dr kannan ji who had come the other day for water and then of course visheshwaran visheshwaran ji he had come his daughter she is having a wellness park and a wellness uh, complete therapy ecosystem over there so a lot of people from tamil nadu those have gone abroad and for the good information of everybody i would like to tell you 
which state in India has got the largest number of temples and which is the oldest language of the universe. All that we have to take into consideration, all of us, ladies and gentlemen, extending a very warm welcome. This morning is coming to you very specially with a fragrance from our brother officer from the armed forces, Colonel Casey Manon. He's a regional advisor, Southern India. He is taking care of our International Chamber for Service Industry, as far as the entire Southern India is concerned, right starting from Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and coming to Karnataka, and a couple of other beautiful places, what we have got down South India. And they are, and you know, something very remarkable I wish to share with both our distinguished guests this morning, both the ladies. Colonel Manon brought a lot of, uh, you know, girl child from various colleges, schools, polytechnic institutions, hospitality management institutes, hotel management, when you talk about tourism management, airlines management, and a couple of other programs, he brought all the girls and they were beautiful questions which we had been sharing. What is the purpose and relevance of education? Why education? Why to go to school? Why to go to college? Why to go to university? Why to acquire a particular skill? Then we have been talking about what is the role of technology in today's education? Something fantastic. Children are making best use of social media now. God has given only one thing common to all of us, and that is 24 hours. You waste it or you utilize it. If you make optimum use of it, you can do wonders on this particular planet in one lifetime. Moksh mil sakta hai. What does today's youth want? Very important question. We have been asking all the kids. What do you want? What exactly youth want? Creativity, collaboration, innovation, networking, technology, artificial intelligence, augmented reality. So many things we have been talking with all of them and how to create your dream career. Either you get in your life whatsoever is your passion or you become passionate whatsoever you are doing. I'm passionate to talk to all of you and it is no more communication, ladies and gentlemen. It is connecting, connecting heart to heart, connecting soul to soul, connecting mind to mind. And that's the way we have to go by. And finally is when you talk about it, it's women empowerment, yes. It's very important. We all have to understand. So before I move further, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to Bal Krishanji joining us from Pathankot. Sakshi is joining from Pauri Garwal, Uttarakhand. Julie Ma'am is joining us from Imphal. Aarti is joining us from Chandigarh. And then Saurabh is joining us from Panchkula. Ria Rana, I'm sorry, child. I do not know where are you joining from. And then we have got Aarti, Julie, Sakshi, Balkrishanji, veteran, oh, from the Indian Air Force, from Yalanka, all the way from Bangalore. We have got Mahesh Watsji, who is joining us. And then we have got BB Supa Foundation from Nagaland. Then we have got Arumugamji. Arumugamji, you are a wonderful soul. He is joining us from Tamil Nadu, and he was earlier with the Senic schools. That is, you called, uh, you know, the army scenic schools. So he was basically with the scenic schools, wonderful person. He keeps sending a lot of information to us. And then we have got uh, Nanlai. She is joining us from Meghalaya, Shillong. Great. Pleasure to have you. Joba Lakshmi from Manipur. Balkrishanji, amazing. Info students. Good morning. All the panelists. Yes. And then we have got couple of other people those have joined extending a very warm welcome don't feel shy why do you want to be silent on youtube why don't you post your share your views expertise vision creativity no idea is poor idea no idea is bright idea idea is idea let's share with each other so women empowerment is very important so thereby arti while talking about women empowerment, because you have just posted it over here, thank you. Vasudev Kutumbakam. The world is one family. All of us, we are brothers and sisters. We are quite worried at present of the corona situation in India. Cases are rising. We do not have that much medical facilities. And uh, we are having challenges. People are, uh, you know, but 
do not have panic we all got to cooperate and the best medicine is prevention take preventive measures and do you remember we get every saturday today is saturday don't forget today is saturday 6:30 pm you have got number one ayurvedist of india talking to you on this platform for the entire global fraternity and can you imagine from all the continents from most of the countries people join and listen to him for half an hour 6:30 to 7 pm on gs motivator you will have professor dr parmeshwar aroda who gives the preventive how to take precautions your black pepper your clove your mustard oil your coconut oil and what exactly to eat what not to eat how to breathe how to take uh, lukewarm and little hot water everything he tells you so much he tells you so thereby ladies and gentlemen don't forget 6:30 pm this evening we are going to have uh, ayurveda for the global wellness heartiest congratulations to the entire education ecosystem of india during the thick of the pandemic last year on 29th of july the honorable prime minister the entire cabinet education minister they all gave the education policy once it gets implemented it's going to be the game chamber changer for entire india can you imagine right from the 6th class you're going to learn coding you're going to have vocational skills competencies capabilities i wish god if you meet me once and ask me major dr gulshan sharma what do you require in life i'll tell him can you make me once again a child can i join sixth class i want to be a part of today's journey 10 days bagless school going to corporate sector enjoying the companies wow atnirbhar bharat self reliant india yes india is thinking india is growing india is becoming self reliant and we all have to contribute proud of this woman she is a wonderful wonderful woman so much professionally in you know indulged into so many things in such a beautiful way when she was looking after commerce and industries ministry and we along with the joint secretary and additional secretary met her number of times on the services sector and giving her the reforms and all very patient hearing very meticulous always listening very carefully and thereafter she took on the another charge when she became the defense minister she was very keen what can i do in defense what reforms can be brought over there and now as a finance minister she gave the six pillars on 1st of february to the entire india and health and wellness getting the first priority infrastructure development and of course vertical number 4 is next to our heart reinvigorating human capital Ladies and gentlemen, these are the key reforms in education sector in the new budget, which was announced on first of February. We are proud to say that nine point five percent increase in the budget what we have got over here being announced. And can you see it right over here? Army, Navy, Air Force, all of them together, and of course my civilian brothers also. If you see the row, thirty-one officers came. We had thirty-one webinars. How the new Senic schools, hundred Senic schools, which have been announced under the PPP mode, public-private partnership, how they should come up. And in the fourth row, if you see one, two, three, four, in the fourth row. there is arumugam ji from tamil nadu and when i come to you thank you very much he sent me a wonderful information he went all the way to that railway station where swami vivekanand ji when he was returning from united states to india and he got down at that railway station where he told arise awake stop not till the goal is achieved wow that's great let's save every drop of water because the next crisis world over is going to be on we have been collecting lot of research data information for the last one year and four months and ladies and gentlemen i'm telling you our chamber very strongly feels you had the first world war you had the second world war if you want to avoid any confrontation in future water crisis is going to touch the humanity 
in a very disastrous way we got to be taken care of and that's possible when we take care of our women because every drop of water being saved at your home at your school at your college in your university at your working place at your public places and we very strongly believe holistic education is very important because education should be relevant to our day to day life and that is the way and on the top of the pinnacle if you see of this triangle women empowerment vocational technology training and what triangle shows education skills and entrepreneurship there are different sector skill councils of the government of india they all are offering free courses we are proud of dr nirmal jeet singh kalsi he has taken as a chairperson ncvet national council for vocational education and training along with madam vinita agrawal and dr neena pahuja this is the amalgamation of all skill whatever verticals you have got they all have come under one confluence and this is the body which is taking care of and we are proud that in 1994 our chamber along with the indian diaspora we brought india's first finishing school network for the service industry and our focus is only communication collaboration creativity critical thinking and continuous learning soft skills life skills future skills welcome to the finishing school for future one place for services sector everything in this canvas what we cover it's all complimentary free of cost niti aayog is having now at present incubation center and they are also having atal tinkering lab our chamber is offering finishing lab for the soft skill and the life skill to all schools colleges institution so ladies and gentlemen youth empowerment is very important teachers hand holding and teachers empowerment is very important our chamber has dedicated 2021 basically for teacher and the youth empowerment and that is services sector art art nirbhar bharat we have got 12 hours telecast every day 12 hours telecast here are 28 programs of ours per week which we bring it for all of you and they touch all portions now today at 5 pm you have got a program coming from singapore that's a wealth of water conservation entrepreneurship thereafter as i told you ayurveda for the global wellness 6:30 pm let's tackle corona wisely today is going to be the third part and can you believe we have completed 50 webinars exclusively on the global wellness based on indian ayurveda and thereafter 8 pm banking finance and insurance for children for the youth and for everybody and we will have our advisor who is ex jail manager rajiv rai zada ji his last posting was also in tamil nadu he was the jail manager for the entire southern india and tonight we will have a gentleman originating from telangana at present in toronto in canada vijay shastri kotamarti ji he would be coming and that is at 9 pm tonight we have got a webinar who am i the body or the sixth sense so ladies and gentlemen basic food basic health basic education get back to the basics sustainable development whatever human mind can conceive and believe it can achieve let's come together let's make education relevant global confluence of all of us once you subscribe this channel press the bell icon like it and share it and comment during the entire program you'll keep getting our notification from time to time so that you come to know what is the next program coming by icsi for all of you with these words ladies and gentlemen join me in extending a very warm welcome this morning to both the distinguished ladies we have got dr gauri ramachandran ji and dr nirmala alex ji we extend them a very very warm welcome it's a pleasure to have both of you with us on this chamber and i would request uh, uh initially 
let's work out that we spend three to four minutes where they just give the context of the entire program, what is their vision on the women empowerment and their background, their expertise, so that we all are very comfortable. And thereafter, we will initiate the process. I would request Dr. Gauri Ramachandran ji to kindly take on the stage and thereafter, Dr. Nirmala Alex ji, hearty welcome and a pleasure to have both of you with us and we extend a very warm welcome, Women Empowerment. Good morning to everybody. Namaskar. And uh, it's a very, very, very heartening and um, I'm feeling so much delighted and proud to be addressing the International Chamber of Service Industry. Our motto is like, you know, we have a caring and sharing and we've been there in the industry. We've been there in the professional life for so many years earning and living and now we'll have to think about caring and giving so in that context we all have been have to make the uh, empowerment in terms of just not in this mundane world of earning living earning living with a very personalized way of life instead just make our children make the whole universe empowered with the uh, you know kind of a charity we don't call it as charity we call them a caring and giving at donating and how it has to be nurtured from the early ages. See, uh, telling is something and making them do something and how do we do it from the beginning, from the ages. So the, there are, after my uh, very brief about me, I have done my doctorate in corporate finance after working for about 26 years with the public sector industry in uh, Government of India under Railway Ministry. Then I've just switched on to my own uh, consultancy firm after doing my chartered wealth manager from US and uh, my idea is to make the MSME sector to become more uh, you know supportive in their own making wealth from their own waste and uh, that's on the one side and um, I've authored co-authored three books along with my friend and uh, a very good friend of mine on three different academic subjects which is on training and development project management and on uh, human resource development. But finance, basically, I, I'm a finance person per se. And uh, after that, you know, like something has really taken a thing, the life skill, the life thing, what we just wanted it was an advanced neuro-linguistic programming from the co-founders of this NLP, the where I have learned it, John, Dr. John Grinder and Richard Bandler, who had groomed my gurus, and I've learned from them and they've now researched and made it into excellence installation technology. Our human brain is so potential and powerful. Coming out of this corona is in our hands. People need not get today. One year people, many of them do not have their own money. They've been borrowing or utilizing their savings and further growth, how they do not know. There are very vague and very different situation than what 100 years before on a spine flu case, swine flu case has happened or now. With all this uncertainties before us, the question is now we have to survive. Once we are able to take up that mentally, we'll be able to take on for the ages, years to come to become our own king and uh, with all the experiences we have learned, how we can do things. So in that, I was also associated with a you know, global NGO called uh, Ekal Abhyan. They have been uh, associated with one lakh plus villages in India and also there are a lot of centers abroad where fivefold education is being taught, the Vasudeva Kudumbakam, the health, education, ethics, uh, and you know, like Poshan Vatika and so many other things all related, all remote places where people are not dreaded to go. We have adopted those villages and then doing just now the education, a holistic integrated village development, fully with the uh, personal help of all the volunteer donors. And there are donors who are like us, do only service to them to see to that, bridging the Bharat with that of the India. So with that, the villages have been connected. And so I'm very proud that the theme, the thought, the idea, all the larger vision of ICSI and where I am associated with the Ekal Abhyan. I was the founder, um, chairperson of Ekal Sanstan in Chennai chapter. And we've been doing a lot of uh, work E Siksha and other things. So we've been Ekal on wheels where we take the computers in the fitted in a van and taken to the villages, make them learn, and then Bombay IIT gives them the certification and we provide them education employment. So, like with the many things are there. So I'm so happy to be 
a part of today's uh, speech in this International Chamber of Service Industry. And so with that, I'll just hand over to Dr. Alex. It's very, very kind of you. What a wonderful inputs. We are so humble. After listening to you, I have become more humble because, uh, you know, uh, ma'am, you would be so happy to know that our chamber, along with the Indian diaspora, one zero 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 eight because Mahamrutinja Mantra journaly you say 108 and from there we go to 1008 we have gone to 10,008 we are collecting 10,008 volunteers Indians from world over and our chamber has taken complimentary service for entire India particularly for the far flung areas for the children, those have got non-accessible resources. And we have set up E Gurukul Gyan Yagya. E Gurukul Gyan Yagya. Nobody has to travel anywhere. Nobody has to get displaced from anywhere. And our chamber is working out in the direction to give the small devices to those children. Some places are only six months accessible, six months harsh weather, bad conditions, parents cannot afford. And from the world over, we are getting 10,008, 10,008 so-called trainers, educators, academicians, whatever you call social workers, no salary, no pay, no package, no money from any child, just Vasudev Kutumbakam, the whole global family, one family. That is the agenda our chamber has taken, along with the leader from Woodbury University, California Burbank, Professor Satinder Dhiman. So with these words, we are more humble to hear, but you have mentioned so many things. I would like to be very keen in the second row, five-fold education, what it is, holistic integrated village development, what exactly it is, and your e-shiksha also we would like to know. And then of course, a couple of other areas. And you touched a very emotional chord of ours, MSME sector. We are very keen about that as well because we want more and more girls to get into startup, stand-up, entrepreneur, self-employment. So all that also we will take into consideration. Before we come for the second round, I would request uh, Dr. Nirmala Alex G to kindly introduce and briefly to give us her vision and her brief profile so that we all are enriched. With these words, thank you very much, Dr. Gauri Ma'am. And we go to Dr. Nirmala Alexji. A very good morning to one and all gathered here. It's indeed my privilege to share in this great platform. I am Dr. Nirmala Alex from the Department of Social Work, Stella Maris College. Stella Maris College is a Catholic minority institution of higher education of women. It's an autonomous institution affiliated with the University of Madras. It is managed by the societies of Franciscan Missionaries of Mary a Catholic religious congregation founded by Blessed Mary of the Passion. Guided by a charism, the initiatives of the college arise from a sound philosophy of life based on faith in God and contemporary reality of a pluralistic Indian society that is challenged by global ideologies and culture. Our vision is to build a vibrant and inclusive learning community in a culture of excellence sustained by a sound value system that promotes responsible citizens and effects social change. Well, I'm very happy to be part of this great institution. It is also my alumina. So I'm grateful to my alumina for molding me and making me what I am. So with this note, I am really reflecting what is happening in today's society. Why this pandemic? But let us realize that God is love and love is God. And he still unites us and we are protected. And as we also pray for the least fortunate in society, let us be the agents of social transformation. Let us use our knowledge and energy to empower and enlighten the masses. And let us not give up hope in life for as long as there is God, there is hope. And definitely each one can join hands in this great platform 
and in our own ways, both at the local, national, and international level, to bring about change and bring life to others in society. And that is why we are called for, as already well deliberated by our author, we are there to be the change. We are there to light the lamp. We are there to enlighten life. So, dear friends, I think this opportunity given to us is a noble global opportunity that we are joining face to face with the youth. So now you see me, I started my profession as a social worker and I realized the importance of working with the rural masses, the urban poor. This draw me into joining with all women's police station as a chief counselor. I was able to touch the lives of many women in distress as a social worker. I'm very happy that our words, our kind deeds, our gestures, our reaching out will definitely give hope and life for the others. So this is my another major note which I wanted to share. Now, moving on into my career as an educationist, I was being able to join the Department of Social Work in the department as an assistant professor and reach out to many youth who come into our lives. With this, I was given another golden opportunity to be the NSS and YRC program officer from 2011 to 2020. Wow, that journey has given me an open opportunity to encounter the youth. Youth are the powerful change agents of society. And really, it helped me to understand the potentials, the capacities. We talk about holistic education, inclusive education, education that empowers youth. This is a real platform for us to understand that. Let us utilize the potential energy of the youth. Let their energy go for the development of the nation. I'm sure all the dreams planned by our prime ministers and all the ministers will come true if we only lighten the life of the youth and just not give them education, but a holistic outlook of society where they learn to respect, accept, and not only to reform the world, but to transform themselves and the others in society. So I'll be giving you a model of how NSS and YRC has given them a platform to become a holistic human being. Besides, there are other uh, courses in our college. We even offer NCC, is another great platform, and the, uh, sports, which is another great platform. So my, uh, my, my dear friends across the world, let us realize that youth need holistic, inclusive education. They should be learned to accept, respect one another in love. And that is the true crux of education. And that is why we are all gathered here. And I'm sure we will carry forward this message across the nation, across the world. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, one and all. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, uh, uh, respectable Dr. Nirmala Alex G. You have given such a wonderful input to us. Uh, chief counselor, social worker, NSS, YRC program, youth, youth and youth, holistic education, not only education, but the entire potential of the youth to be strategically channelized in the most innovative and creative way to make India Atnirbhar Bharat. And then also NCC, sports and a couple of other areas. I think after listening to both the ladies, my voice is choked and I have become more humble now. Both of them, they are legend and both of them, they are so, so remarkable this morning to all of us, ladies and gentlemen. We are privileged to have both of them with us this morning. I would also like to put in a very humble way, uh, besides uh, Colonel Casey Manon's efforts, uh, Dr. Chitra Kapoor, because she's the assembler, whatever you saw the PPT, it's her creation along with her team. Ajay Kundal, who is a technical person, and Habung Asha from Arunachal Pradesh, bringing the entire Northeast together with us. I'm just, it's a beautiful golden triangle, Chitra, Ajay, and Habung. I'm, just, I'm proud of them, like we talk about our own golden triangle, education, skills, and entrepreneurship. Now, I do not know where to start, how to start, where from to take on journey, and uh, Dr. Gauri, ma'am, and Dr. Nirmala, ma'am, uh, I might have taken some breakfast in the morning, but I am more hungry now after listening to the, uh, you know, the intro part by both of you. My appetite, <laughs> and you have to give me a proper lunch before I request both of you to close the session today. There is no time limit. Share your vision. 
share your expertise we are hungry we want to learn as much as possible and give us whatever you wish to share towards women empowerment and uh, i would request dr gauri ramachandran ji to kindly share her views and uh, let's take uh, your time and ma'am there is no limit i am repeating in a humble way as a self imposed elder brother i want you should you should empower the universe today because so much you are carrying and fortunately as a elder brother i would say that i did two programs of the nlp and uh, i'm a trained professional on the nlp i enjoyed so so much similarity i get on that front also and when uh, uh, dr alex was talking about ncc and she was talking about so my emotion rolls there also coming from the armed forces background and c certificate and nss and yrc so i would request dr gauri ramachandran ji to kindly take on the discussion further and we should move ahead and meanwhile dr nirmala x will prepare some uttapam and dosa and vadas and other things for us <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, please go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, very nice of you. You're making it so <laughs> lively and uh, so encouraging, and so we'll just take it, you know, the way we you wanted it, and Thank definitely you will not be definitely starved off, and definitely not be overeaten. <laughs> so a sumptuous meal will be given to you, an Thank intellectual you. meal, right? So uh, today I just thought that uh, you know education relevance and all those things. See today we bank upon the kids, you know, as they are just toddler, we just thought of booking to them in a school where they can go in a prestigious school. And all the parents from their role, we think that the school is the only molding place, and they have to do everything. And as long as we just put our money and the place where we wanted them to be, and that there the job ends. And sometimes some parents, I'm not blaming them. There are some pockets of the parents who, in spite of going their work and whatever role they have. they come back sit with the children and then do their uh, you know along with them nurture them and i just not filling up their homework so what is that space is about so that's what i just thought today it's about the financial habits what a what a parent can nurture along with them to make the education relevant you just make them teach learn their tables or they do the homework that's not an end of it so let's make them a holistic groomed person from home see from charity begins at home everything begins at home people model the parents if the parents are good enough what they do how they handle things how they are in at home definitely mold their younger ages and as they grow they are able to do in by them unconsciously that's an unconscious assimilation which already happens with all the children so for which we have to reborn as a kid to make them learn understand with our wisdom as an elder as a parent and how do we going to do so i just thought that nurture it in 10 points and then give it across to uh, the audience what we really want our children definitely we want them to do better best than what we are today and so how are we really do one we just want that are we just molding them in the right way so when we do that there's very important thing is the money people will just think money is not the only thing you should not have a money in the, the, there are a lot of philosophy exactly to run an ngo organization also money is needed what we show in an accountly profit in a commercial organization excess of income over expenses in a non profit organization so everywhere the money has got it so whatever we eat whatever we wear the clothes we wear the car we drive the healthcare the education the child rearing the gift what are we giving it on occasions vacations where we undergo and entertainment heat air conditioning insurance name anything without money nothing can happen so how do we handle that it's very important somebody says some you do this my friend says my ex says why says so you do it that is not the way you have to think about it and then do it not at when the age but is too late to learn nurture them there is one uh, person very richest person in babylon his father taught him to attend the personal financing classes at the age of 12 and at the age of 3 there is another gentleman who asked uh, who made them learn by their practice you we take the children to the shopping we will just ch- children will be you know uh, you know gazing here and there and we do the purchase and we make them learn take this color that color and then do something 
and pay the money and we because we thought that it is only our job we will be paying the card or whatever it is and then bring back and then do but this other gentleman made it slightly different a 3 year old kid of him when they go to the shopping he will groom the kid at home first first lesson starts before going to the shopping yeah you will be going for buying you the toys we are going to buying you this uh, you know clothes and things like that so uh, just ask them to go and look at the wardrobe whatever you already have which means the satisfaction is already there i have best set of clothes and so now what am i going to do is for your next occasion it may be for your birthday or for any other festival so that means the kid is already satisfied on looking at the wardrobe yes i have so much so when you go there the demand the want versus the need is very nicely been told just by looking at the wardrobe so that's how the parents have to be a stepping stone of a modeling i would come again from the nlp perspective modeling just do them don't tell them no you have already so much never advise advice will never work with anybody whether to the small kid or to us so let's just role play and then make them do it so in that way when we do it will just look at the thing and then you could see the colors what all you have already so that we won't repeat it on that nice casual way you just tell them and groom them like when you wanted it you this is how tell them the budget 3 year old kid or 5 year old you may think that what they know about the budget so still this is the way uh, mama and papa will just select these are all the things you can choose that you can give them the decision how they have to pick it up from the alternative every decision making comes from uh, age of as early as 3 to 5 when they are a good decision maker at the end it, it it gets nurtured they will tell that my papa used to take me to the shop and do this if this chocolate is not good if this chocolate availability is not there what is the alternate best thing health wise and otherwise and all the factors are layered at that point itself so they become no if it is not there i will not go take me to 10 other shops and get me they will not be troubling you at all at any point in time so that's how very subtly we have to put it across so in that way what happens is i just uh, thought them okay three tell them the budgeting tell them all those things so i'm just thinking how i can just put it across to them we we all know about every parent knows about give them the piggy bank and then ask them to save so that means i uh, give me money for piggy bank that's how it should not be a begging money and putting it to them or making them to learn the piggy bank concept is we have to respect it like how am i doing my saving how am, what is that i'm earning to save it so now i'm going to give you some work you do that i'll give you two more dollars i'll give you 20 rupees i'll give you 50 rupees so it's not that you should not tell them for every work you will be giving money that a uh, concept you should not entertain but you should tell them like suppose today somebody uh, we are doing extra work than what is the additional thing okay you help me also i am also uh, you also help me so we will i'll just reward you with instead of a chocolate or an ice cream give them some money and ask them to put it in a uh, piggy thing so the piggy thing in the beginning itself my recommendation is three jars one is for spending another one for saving another one for caring and giving and donating these three have to be put at the youngest age otherwise they'll know only one piggy bank which they will save and then when they when the money is filled they will be take buying something good gadgets so that just, means the goal just repeat just repeat ma'am all three piggy banks <laughs> the the three piggy jars i would call it as like very nice uh, jar which is very attractive will make them see again and again very easily handleable and uh, so one is for uh, spending because the spending decisions are going to be very important spending saving and giving caring which is for donating so the third one is for donation so what what are we going to do our fellow persons how do we have to really give today i am giving you 10 dollar for doing this additional work along with me i am rewarding you because the value of the work the value of the money everything is been taught not for just doing some helping some small household chore it's a very uh, definite different work when they share at that time it will be given and apart from that the pocket money concept for meeting their expenses not on a uh, early age we already drop them some school van picks up drops them so apart from that what money they need it they don't need to give so some uh, school of thought will say don't expose them to money they will get spoiled that they are the one who spoil the children not exposing to the way how they have to spend so first the spending decision have to be very very nice so when the shopping before you go them you groom them give them some inputs this is how it is it is there are some people will just say costliest thing will be the nice one you will look you are the groom and you should see 
the TV serials which keeps coming, birthday bashes and things like that, how they celebrate. And these people are already been addicted, both from the grandmas to the mothers and that. Oh, they wanted the best thing. Even if one month's salary goes off on that, they're not bothered. So that's not the way. So you just, the best spending decision come in how even a nice cotton clothes during summer is the best thing than the fashionable thing which is used for an occasion. So the distinction, when, what has to be worn and how it has to be presentable and the decision of buying. See, the concept is the quality, quality and quality and not the money, money, money. So some people will have a thinking, if you pay very high, then you will get the best quality. See, there is some uh, pros and cons on that, that as a later ages, we can inculcate on them. But, but the point is, we run on a budget. See, you, we can just say Mukesh Ambani also will be buying for their children for the wedding they will be spending. And we will also spending for their own, our own wedding and our housemaid wedding also will be contributing. So there are platforms which differs and everywhere the bottom line is satisfaction. So you should never compare, oh, I have not got it. My friend got this. So the comparison aspect has to be stopped in the beginning itself. You are the best and you will be the best at your platform. So the spending decisions have to be taught by injecting them the budget. Budget and then within the budget we have to uh, allocate. So we have a saving, the corona kind of a stuff. We need not worry about it. 10 months, I don't have a salary. Still, I'll be able to live the same standard of living without any difficulty. Probably my saving will come down and I'll recoup it once my economy picks up 2022 when we the corona says goodbye to us or we say goodbye to corona. Ultimately, we will come back to the original mission of our earning parameter. So you during the crisis, so we are teaching them the crisis management as well. So what happens in this way, the children, when you show the bill, ask them when they are so small also, lift them and then uh, with their hands, ask them to give the card to swipe or the cash to give it in the counter. They are handling the money, raw cash, and giving it in the counter. And somebody is giving the bill and with the balance money, you see the joy full of happiness in their mind. Something they have achieved like a Himalayan task. Get the money and come back and show them, preserve the bill and then teach the second post-shopping teaching. When they come, they just show the bill. You just given 100 rupees and you bought some 80 rupees and you got the 20 rupees we have planned within the budget you have a saving of 20 rupees the bill this is what abc all those things you know you know at, at the age of five six seven to some extent they will know but they will know something oh, with the bill i saw something my father was telling my mother was telling or this is how it is which means the bill is important suppose some defective good also to return i need to keep the bill somebody will just open the packet and i don't know where the bill has gone i can't return it so irresponsible so the responsibility we are nurturing it by producing the bill, keeping the safety of the bill. Don't educate them, keep the bill safely. When it goes, no advice. As you keep it and then say, and in a particular place, it is to be kept. And then ask them to go and keep it there. So that makes them the habit that next time when the bill has to be there, it has to be kept there till the product is used. Then don't keep rubbish, then you can throw it off. So that way the discipline is being inculcated. So many things in that one small shopping at just the smallest age, you are able to do it. And we will have to definitely make a distinction between wants and needs, as I just said. So if they want a toy, yes, we will definitely give you the toy. Don't tell them that if you get first rank, second rank, or 80% 80 marks above, I'll get you. No, do not impose such kind of a rule. Instead, you just give them, uh, you know, like this is, you are always a brilliant boy. You will do well and you will excel in, than what you have done already. Give a presupposition. And naturally, they will do well and reward them. Everything we'll have to satisfy ourselves. Go take a chocolate. When we complete one chapter, toughest chapter, give them one chocolate and enjoy. Spend some five minutes, rest, relax. Then do your second chapter. Naturally, the gap between that and then they know about it, how to relax without getting themselves tensed. And they know what is wants and what is needs. So, you know, reward them once they finish something. And that will again go into the three jars. When you reward the money, that is their income. So the income is coming through work, through achieving something and not just pocket money. Every month I'll give you 500. Every month I'll send you to your hostel so much money. And like you shouldn't be an ATM when they ask for it. As and when you want, you have to get the money. No, it has to be earned by them. They have to know how politely they love to get it from their parents. So that may, the distinction between wants and needs will make them know, I need $300 
but let me just take a cushion of hundred dollars. So probably you may settle down with two fifty dollars in terms of the spending. You will have a saving in that fifty and another hundred out of that hundred and fifty. You will have that donation every time you set aside in your own life what you do. Some people will just say ten percent of my earning net earnings. I'll give it as my charity to so much. Uh, they may have their own pockets of giving it according to their wish. They will donate it. So likewise, the habit of in their own pocket money after they spending the savings for their own buying toys or whatever the best gadget they wanted to buy and then the balance to the not the balance some percentage you indicate to them it's never spending minus uh, you know income minus spending is saving no i would reverse the formula the uh, income has to be minus charity minus uh, saving then the spending then you know about it how your budget works and how you will be able to do you need not be stingy you need not be you have to use your economic sense to see to that your decisions are taken care then they they also know that they how they will earn the money the value of hard work and then how they got this extra money you so that way you just set them the goal in one year's time and when that when they learn the tables you just mundane ask them not to repeat the tables we just put up a uh, music a exercise health and your money and your thing comes together in our ekalabhyan we do like that uh, you know in a remote village in haryana one teacher made them to learn the table in a dance form 2 plus 2 like all that in exercise way she will tell four and he will just say like this and all that she choreographed she is just an illiterate person but she is the one who be doing it so make them live what they learn in the school is something and you add on value to them by telling them stories by telling them all this how things have happened so we have to revisit our scriptures to tell them nice stories in a way how earlier our kings and the thing how they protected their uh, you know their own family their own uh, extended family of their citizens and how how it has happened through them so moral it's been taught and at the same time money value is taught and you are making them rich in their own way and provide a place to stay to start with the piggy bank and after some time when they grow it will become you can open an account together and uh, today you at the age of 6 and 7 you can't tell the mutual fund or any other portfolio investment that's a stage will come i been now taking you through the stage from 3 30 year 3 to that of 6 7 years and then to next when we just come after we put them on to the bank balance and get it updated or show them the net banking see this is your bank your name uh, balaji and uh, your father's name both of them are there so this is your money you are putting it so because you have achieved it you have a balance of 100 dollars i am giving you a reward of another 100 so it is becoming 200 next year it is showing 210 10 rupees is the interest you have earned so what is that it has come the bank is giving you that so concept of introducing how the money grows so as an interest and let them see it physically in the on net banking on the screen how things are because you will have to go with the technology not that getting updated the pass book and things like that and after that the next stage is after the net banking how do you do how do you do carefully the things what do you do with the password how do you get it and all those things just ask them to observe don't tell them like this is next day immediately next transaction as if they going to do don't teach them like see this is what i'm doing just be instead of them letting them do something else 10 minutes just be there i'm going to do i'm going to order grocery i'm going to order this see how this is there the picture is coming like that you make them very interesting educative and a value of money how are you doing it and then ultimately after when they become 12 to 18 gradually let them be uh, you know technocrat let them be medical professional let them be architect any field their choice you allow them to do and they may be a singer they may be a professional artist whatever but this money cannot afford to do. i would like to say one more thing ar rahman all of us we know about the global uh person who had got all the honors and uh, pride for india he he is come from a humble family and a humble background in his education today his knowledge of literature and money is so great how literature is needed for his profession because how the music has to be set perfect to the tune meter and the lyrics and the lyricists will be there you cut short with four syllable to three syllable then only the meter the talam goes and he has to be there that is perfect what about money he is so much good at money the moment the money comes how he has to he will have humpty number of his financial advisors but he will tell them the way you question them 
the financial advisors will be astonished. He knows perfect about the income tax changes than you and I know. So that's how one has to be there, that you need not be a special MBA from Harvard or from a IIM. So this is to, for, for our own thing, whether you are with any other profession, the knowledge of finance is a must for which the money management, money behavioral aspects, I would put it across very clearly, the way you love money, the money will love you. The may you wanted to be possessive and selfish and wanted to build castle for you and your own wealth, then your money will behave like that only. And you wanted to give it to them and others and enjoy their happiness on your giving it to others, you, are, you will make you a great charitable person. So the behavioral aspects of money, all that we as a parent have to nurture them and uh, allow them to make mistakes because they are doing it together with you. They are not doing a very big net banking mistakes and lost several uh, thousands of money from your uh, bank account. It's just a small corrections if they do. Allow them to make the mistakes will make them to learn a very good uh, lesson in the life to do it and uh, act as their creditor. Just be there. I'm there for you to give the money. Give them whatever they want. Add on to them your goal of buying today. Okay, you want to buy an iPad. It costs you so much uh, dollars. I, you already saved so much. I will give you something more. So which means you become a creditor to achieve their goals. And they know about the value of credit. Value of credit and repaying it and other things. All happens within an age of 18, 19 years. And when they are there uh, entering the college, they will be earning... And adolescent age, very difficult, leave them, nurture them. Uh, and then you tell them like we have a, our uh, finance students, we tell them open a uh, money control. There is one DMAT account. You can just, it's an account when you open it, they'll give you one crore uh, fictitious money. It is not a uh, money, it's a virtual money. You, you, will, you will be doing actual share transaction, whatever the share value of Wipro or ITC or Infosys today, the same value, it will be there in the moneycontrol.com, whatever account you open it, it will give you one crore money. You can invest in land, you can invest in shares, you can invest in mutual fund, you can invest in FDs, everything you can do at the end of it will give you the life thing. So that is the way. Then once you are habited in these kind of a thing, you, with your actual money, with your actual bank account, you would be very confident enough to do it. So this is how I would just say, and talk about money. People will just say that, what is it? You are always been talking about money. No, you need not talk always. When you are doing it and emphasizing certain brilliant decision of yours, please make them understand that as a parents, how your decision is valuable in terms of saving it and making it grand and how things have happened. How all your thing, you know, as a memoir instead of giving, talk about off and on, not very uh, as a routine one, like a very discussion. This also have to come instead of just sticking ourselves only with a mobile and our own gadgets. And uh, last of all, you be the preacher. Preach what you practice. So you be the first person to be that. You are telling so much and you don't even do. Don't get that back from your kids. So just be, set a good example. And you have nurtured a wonderful kid as, as small as 30. What is this the three year kid, five year kid? What they know about money? Don't give money. They do not know. They'll bring less money. So you will see now after I give you these 10 points. Now I just open you all to think about it. There are, there are, you now look at it in your own way. A very uh, 10 year, 15 year old kid, you give the money and ask them to buy some one kg of uh, something. Suddenly they'll just go one kg of something random. They'll say, buy something, whatever balance they give, they'll give it. And the bill and uh, this one, they'll give it off. Yes, this is what I've got. So whether the product is correct, whether the money is charged is correct, is there any comparative items for it where you can think about it, getting a better quality or a better price? Nothing has been done. If you do it at the young age along with you shopping and making them involved, don't give any preaching in the shop. Uh, the pre and post have to be at home. So then you are nurturing a very good thing because I'm very happy. My father has taught me at the age of three, he used to make me do the budget with whatever money he gets it and what all the pending things with all the things, what he has to do. And I will give, I remember I used to give the money as a rent to my landlord. We were in the ground floor and my landlord will be in first floor. I will go and give the hard currency when I was fourth grade. 
and uh, then i'll ask uncle please give us the electricity submitter bill so that my dad will give me tomorrow evening so like that you know precaution i'll do what is that next because i've seen in the budget next bill is electricity so likewise it's all no need for verbal teaching my dad will never teach he will only be a set an example of doing things he will write and uh, make us learn and today i am really really been prudent enough to do when i was uh, you know as in a college teenage girl thing i used to have a lot of my savings i used to have a good life as well as during my uh, elder sister's wedding i had a good amount of saving which i gave it i'm still happy and proud that i'm part of the big event and i and I did all the event uh, you know planning along with my father so this is how you are becoming a full fledged person where how you are groomed in the beginning now i am very happy my son who was groomed well third year four year onwards i used to give him a pocket notebook his money his expenses because writing the expenses is as important as writing your income you will just see you just see i have my excel sheet of 10 years of my expenses home we know the inflation not from the thing from house we can know the inflation it's no big uh, rocket science just a simple my father in law used to dedicatedly do in manually i am doing it only in excel that's all so technology we are going along with us and making things along with us so this one thing i would just say that be a role model for your own thing they will learn lot of things said and unsaid and make them get the right instincts from you and my son started saving from his first salary he just said will you manage my wealth i said i can manage the wealth of others but i will not manage my own sons i will tell you the leads how you have to do about it you do it and i'll guide you where you just have to make a course correction so from his first salary he started doing it and even now he last this is what i have and blah 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 i just what is your input all sms and i'll give back things goes off so that means you have to be positioning yourself at that place so that your grandchild also will look at your wisdom of this money handling thank you so much Oh, wonderful 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 i am still in that shop only where the 3 year old kid is standing next to the father and just trying to see what all is at home and what is to be purchased today let's go to next shop <laughs> Oh, great be a role model and preach what you practice yeah that's a wonderful and three jars spending saving and giving caring and donation wow that's lovely 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 and quality 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 money 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 <laughs> that's also lovely crisis management so many things have come out of this no advice discipline with the bill saving and reward techniques oh no no to reward techniques from today because i always get tempted and i say if you do this you will be rewarded with this so we will stop that we will not work out on that we would be very keen to know about that uh, person uh, male or female or whosoever is there in haryana that is music for mathematics uh, what you told haryana somebody is teaching the table with the uh, you know the music part and all that and everything we would be very keen about it and uh, yes nice stories something you have covered such a beautiful way moral values comes from the stories concept of interest and how money grows value of money and then yes ar rahman oh my god you have given a secret today which nobody was knowing that he is so good at finance management <laughs> you got financial advisors or something so ar rahman ji if you are listening this particular program and if you watch this program even later here is the lady who is telling and she is appreciating you dr gauri ramachandran ji that you are very good with your finance management in spite of so many advisors yes that's great so writing your expenses and writing your income both of them together wonderful wonderful such a nice and uh, charity begins at home that is something and something nicely what madam mentioned reborn as kid yeah <laughs> and that person at uh, babylon as uh, she was talking about yeah that's lovely role play no advice tell the budget great and nurture them right from the 3 years old age wow that's lovely wonderful journey pleasure to hear your views ma'am it's a, such a lovely and such a simple way you have put it and you made it so humorous and so interesting and so captivating 
we will get back uh, again for the final round before we'll close the session i would now request uh, our distinguished uh, guest uh, dr nirmala alex ji because there's a lot to share nss yrc ncc sports and couple of other things coming from there i would request you ma'am kindly take on the floor and all yours now can i share the screen sir by all means all means okay. everything is yours ma'am you have a right to share okay okay thank you okay after listening to such a powerful speech i'm just wondering oh can can it's is a, it visible is it's it visible a, oh no not as yet ma'am okay, not okay. as yet ma'am it is uh, okay. women empowerment talk ladies and gentlemen those are watching world over and now i have seen two of my friends have joined from germany guten guten tag or guten aben or guten den i don't know what i have to say oh joshi ji also uh, from uh, tokyo great i know you are heading for your uh, evening uh, tea or coffee shivasya narateo tatako shivasya naratai do dashim so anu thank you joining from moscow i'm so grateful thank you very much dobrai dobrai vechar dar daragiya damia instituta padalam turisma e upravlenia bureau pute chetri rasvistewa thank you thank you for joining yeah wonderful let's move ahead with dr nirmala alex ji okay uh, the nss and yrc of salamaris college plays a pivotal role in molding the youth and this is a big platform for students to nurture their talents now as you see the motto of Na national nss is not me but you so we had the privilege of celebrating the golden jubilee year of nss so as you see the symbol now the motto is very clear and mahatma ji can see the idea of involving youth in constructive services nss was launched in 1969 the birth centenary of mahatma gandhi now what are the principles of nss to inculcate social welfare in students and to provide service to the society without bias to ensure that everyone who are in need gets help to enhance your standard of living and lead a life of dignity enlighten the volunteers to learn from the people and villages how to lead a life despite scarcity of resources during natural disasters and anthropogenic activities providing food clothing and first aid to disaster victims now objectives of our nss volunteers identify the needs and problems of the community in which they serve develop themselves with a sense of social and civic responsibility utilize their knowledge in finding practical solutions for individual and community problems gain skills in the exercise of democratic leadership and in program development to acquire self empowerment now what are the program center around as already well deliberated as ma'am also said nurture the child from childhood yes environmental enrichment and conservation today we know the reality of environment and how best we need to safeguard the environment so start from childhood and nurture it in the college days and sure they'll become useful citizens of tomorrow improvement of the status of women yes the need of the r to enhance the status of women and that is why we are sitting on a common platform to talk about empowerment of women education recreation community health sanitation camps blood donation camps campaigns now what is youth red cross this is another a great journey which talks about protection of health and life service to the sick and suffering promotion of national and international friendship to develop the mental and moral capacities of the youth the international red cross as you all know is the biggest independent non religious non political non sectarian and voluntary relief organization in the world treating people without discrimination as to their basis nationality race and religious beliefs today we also see the nss and yrc playing an active role towards empowering the society this is taken as part of the curriculum so we instill the students to take part in the extra curricular and co curricular activities and not only really just a degree but they carry this stp programs that they're able to get it this is given in our college as a two credit program with a duration of two years with one credit per year it is not just completion of hours it is a quality of service given to society so if you see in a nutshell the in, in, induction happens by orientation you see all the active volunteers seated there as teachers senior volunteers journey with us they are becoming youth leaders of tomorrow so this group discussion interaction breaks the ice between different across different cultures so we have in our college privilege of students coming across from all walks of society from all the nations from every part of the india so this is a place a platform all these opportunities given to them enable them to love embrace one another's religion 
culture, ethnicity, diversity. If you see that they not only just get exposed to education, apart from education, they're exposed to NGOs, non-governmental organizations. You could see our students in action. They work with NGOs like Stepping Stone, MCDS Monfort Community Development Society, working for the vulnerable poor, and also Kakar Baba with the visually impaired, the, mar the, the, the marginally uh, challenged, uh, the mentally challenged. So you find the Gandhi Peace Foundation, a beautiful platform where it gives opportunity to promote Gandhian culture and values. So, so students undergo this training to understand about their role in society. And this is a YRG initiative where our students are placed to understand, to respect, accept persons with living with HIV. So she does not get just education, education across frontiers to respect human beings, to be more humane, to respect, accept, and tomorrow to join and have an inclusive learning and inclusive growth and education as well spelt in the new education policy as well. Now, you talk about the networks. Okay, some of the achievements which I wanted to say in a nutshell. If you see, we are all participating in a national integration camp. Unity in diversity. You could see all the players, both me as part of the training camps. This was held in Coimbatore. We had uh, students across all over India. So this gives us a platform to come together, to share, to respect, to accept and journey together and to make a, a better India. And you find here, this is the part of the program where we have our sharings. We are also given recognitions as various during the camps. Okay, now to say something very unique, this is very important for society today, the green color movement. I think our Kalamji has widely spoken about safeguarding environment. Today, preserve, promote, and protect nature. If you protect nature, you're safe from all hazards. This message, as we have to start from early childhood, should be carried forward. Plant trees, plant nature, nurture the minds of the youth to, na to respect nature. Okay, now you have such programs. You see here uh, a president uh, doing about a signature campaign to commemorate Abdul Kalamji's death anniversary. So these are evidences to say that education is complete when you mold the youth in a holistic way. Now, if you see here, this is a vigil, a blood donation camp, very commendable service which is done by our college is to reaching out to the Children's Hospital and the Egmore Hospital and the Royal Petta Hospital. The blood donated goes to the cause of the poor. So every child gets motivated and they say, please enroll me in this blood donation drive. I want to do, give that drop counts. That drop changes the world. Start from childhood, start from youth. These are the youth we need for today. And we're very proud to say that as a college, we've been receiving the Dr. Radhakrishnan Rolling Trophy for the past 10 years for promoting the cause of humanity. It's a time of pride moment to say the youth, you are responsible, we are responsible. Let's join hands to make a world. Now today, if you see, this is about the candlelight vigil. We don't stop education. We bring out the struggles of women. This is about the case that happened in Ungupaka, where a child got murdered alive in broad daylight. So students coming together to express solidarity in a silent way to mark that we have to respect women and women's rights. Now, if you see, I'm just going to rush through. You see Gandhi Peace Foundation students getting education and training in collaboration with Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Youth Development. So when you collaborate with institutions and administrations across, we get to learn to respect and accept and transmit humane values to society. Okay, now if you, you find this, in a, this is a first aid camp. Every student is given an opportunity. So when disasters happen, don't wait, react, respond proactively. Don't become spectators, but become players. This is tough. And today we are very proud to see many of the students involved in disaster relief work. If you see, we have gone into Gaza flood relief work. We have taken them, if you see, working and taking all the cleaning, the disasters, post disasters. Even we have gone through COVID situations and we find a lot of medical camps organized, both and participating with Chennai Corporation as well as with private sectors. And this is a a platform where they can express their solidarity after the post disaster. Okay, now we have I donation rallies. It was very commendable that we joined with Sankara Netralayam and organizations. We had a Nirmal, uh, Madam Nirmala Korean who came and shared about the legacy of our dad who brought about the Amul. And students were able to understand that by donating I, you're giving sight, and that is important. Cancer awareness, sensitize the youth that cancer people should be more given love, respect, and accept them and give them love, and that is a turning point. And many of them, very interestingly, have even donated their hair for the cause of cancer survivors. 
you have an interaction with the international delegates from Mitra. You find all the youth interacting with the foreign delegates. They exchange ideas and new views about how social work is carried across the nations. This is to respect the rights of the visually impaired. Walk, empathize, feel, understand that you must respect and accept the visually challenged, the disabled, and have a policy that will be inclusive to empower the disabled people and make them equally responsible in society. Okay, now I'm just going to very briefly, we had the opportunity of having even Meta Man. Meta Man was able to talk about human rights issues, environmental concerns, Narmada Bacho Andolan. So all this is important for students. We had the opportunity to go into participating in a, a Podigay channel to talk about the role of youth in community development. Students participated across all colleges. So this not only creates platform for within college development, but also exchange across colleges. So this is something very interesting. I just wanted to put then talking to the students about anti-dowry. Say no to dowry. Dowry Prohibition Act is there. POSCO Act is there. How can we become agents of social transformation? So these are some of the limelights. Now, this camp gives them opportunity to even develop their talents, their cultures. Many of the students have said, man, I have not got to the stage. This has given me an opportunity to develop self-confidence, empower, visiting slums, visiting the poor, interacting, understanding the plights. This is important for the youth today. And believe me, it is very important that they become very sensitive students and they will become agents of social transformation. Now, I wanted to share in a very sh uh, short, the National Digital Mission Scheme. This is something very close to empower, give computer literacy. We have a Tripachur Rural Project Extension Center where our college works extensively with the rural communities. This village has been adopted by our college and we reach out and all the departments go there. It is very important that every student takes her education to the community, be it a degree holder of fine arts or maths or sciences or arts. Convert your energy, transform your knowledge into action, reach out to the children in the community. That is important. And this is something which is given priority. Now you see our children in action. So very interestingly, I'm just going to say a few words about this summer Swachh Bharat. Swachh Bharat campaign was very part and parcel of the NSS. And it was very nice to see the students empowering the children in the rural communities. And believe me, they were had a wonderful time during summer in the hot in Chennai. They were able to go and spend in Thrusalam, an adopted village of ours as well, where children worked with the quarries. You can see all the students in action and our principal appreciating our Principal Dr. Sister Rosie Joseph in interaction, and you find all the students in the community villages, pin drop silence. Students' education, they realize that my education should reach to the community. This is a testimony where students go right up to the community and create awareness, educational awareness, knowledge, and also developing soft skills for the children. And they also enjoy and say, We are able to do wonderful things, madam. If not for these opportunities, who is going to expose us to the realities? So you find an organization called Manasu, children doing rally in Thrissalam to talk about environmental sanitation and environmental rights. And these are some of the Swachh Bharat programs which we have organized both at the villages and at the community levels. So you could see that. It is also we did in Egmore. It was a very beautiful scenario where we collaborated with the railways and they it gave us a platform to clean the Egmore railway station besides creating empowerment, awareness, and this is very important for the students to gain self-confidence. Now, we say a, a rural camp in Tripachur. This is a Tripachur site, okay? Our students in action. And now you find that we also, they are able to create awareness on Dingu awareness, awareness on about COVID even, and about uh, Geneva Convention where our students participated and uh, contributed their might through mines and platforms where they say no to drugs, say no to drug abuse, human trafficking, and so on. So World Martyrs Day, where we commemorate, and if you see here, very important where we took to the roads, we collaborated with the government departments through international justice mission. You can see me also there along with the students creating awareness to say that stop human trafficking because trafficking is the biggest issue, especially during pandemic time. So creating awareness and taking the students from the education portals to the field creates a better platform to understand their role in society. So this is, uh, you can find the uh, annual rural camp, as I already told you. And a very important, you can see once again, students in action and uh, the Poru Lake Cleaning, besides even pro pro preserving and promoting lake and water body. You find students in action. Again, the art of blood donation, 
where students come voluntarily to donate blood and say that be the change you want to see. Our rural camp, I still want to share one episode where our students decided to take special education, become BA students, take up more level of reaching out to the marginalized. This is the turning point. And I want to place here one case study of a girl who was belonging from a, a child of a Dalit community. And I should not say, but she challenged, she came to the camp and she said, Madam, this education has given me empowerment. I'll go back to the community and I will serve my community. I will be a leader to serve humanity. Today, she's taking care of her parents. She's empowered and she's able to attain sustainable development. Okay, these are the, the relevance of camp. You see students in action, getting appreciated by the NSS coordinators. And also you find the camps being organized. This is a collectorate's office where we had the opportunity to visit the collectorate and students had a direct interface with the collectorate's personnel to talk about the issues and public concerns of the society. This is Tiruvallur district where we were placed in Pundi block. Our operation area is Tirupachu, Kote Colony, Vasantham Nagar, Irular community where memorandum was placed before the collectorate's office. So students, even social work students are part of this. You see the school, our students doing tree plantation, empowerment, talking about the good touch, the bad touch. This is a very great government program, district level youth parliament. The youth came across all borders to talk about social issues. And we were the coordinators. It was very interesting to see entire college community coming together and talking and deliberating, discussing and developing the leadership skills. And uh, this is the district level youth parliament, which we had the opportunity given by uh, our principal, the students in interaction. You find the speaker there. She's able to coordinate along with all the team members. And this has happened. So youth become leaders of tomorrow. So let's not forget our role. This is about medical clowning, an important orientation given where students make others laugh. Healing therapy, you call it. So apart from the students also take off this and it helps them to lot us as a stress buster to overcome their changes and also make others happy in life. Okay, now this is something which happened in Pondicherry. Now I'm just concluding with some of you the remarks. You find again to go with nature. We had been able to interact youth symposium students participating and deliberating issues and also the Gandhi Peace Foundation which commemorates the 150th Gandhian centenary celebration where we were also honored students were honored and this is something which is very close we commemorated World Farmers Day by connecting with Sunny Bee where we had organic farming directly interacting our principal interacting with the farmers and the importance of promoting organic farming respecting accepting the rights of farmers Today, if students are given this thought, they will take the youth and they'll take the policies in the right direction. I think uh, uh, this is important for us. The Gaja relief work as you see students in action. So, and you find the Walk for Freedom rally where students take part in various events, cancer awareness organized by Can Stop, Cancer Institute, where students go and share their experiences and learn to understand and even give healing therapy through songs. When NGO called the uh, Ashwin Maharaj Foundation, Cancer to Madam has set a legacy for them. And I hope this will be an opportunity for every student to imbibe. And that is very important. They enjoy. If you see that even with the government departments, we commemorate. You see uh, our health secretary there, Dr. Radha Krishnan, our vice principals, and all the students there, our secretary, Sister Susan. We find that this is not only commemorating, but giving opportunities and lifting everybody in life. We are very also happy to know that many of our students have participated in the Republic Day Parade camp. We have Deshamol, Darshini, who have really gone and got the power to stand on par with the Prime Minister and the President and take and give the salute. This is a day of honor for every student, not only to develop their intellectual knowledge, but their holistic development, their leadership skills, team spirit. All this is very important for us in today's society. So we see her with the, with the, with the central government with the panel, with the team members there, our uh, honorable president and the NSS coordinators of the central level, our sister principal in collaboration with CBRF for disabled rights. So we find all this is possible. And thank you, Stalamaris. Thank you to all. So be the change you want to see. And I conclude by saying, I can do things you cannot. You can do things I cannot. Together, we can do great things. Once again, commit yourself to the noble struggles for equal rights. You will make greater persons of yourself, a greater nation of your country, and a finer world to live in, as said by Martin Luther King. Thank you, Nandri Jai Hind, for giving me this opportunity.
thank you very much thanks a lot wonderful wonderful when you are showing uh, saint uh, mother teresa what we remember over here is everybody is born with certain qualities and something very special everybody cannot do everything but everybody can do lots of things and that's what is uh, basically beautiful journey of your college we wish uh, all the best to your teachers to your educators you, to your lecturers to your Thank students you. and everyone keep doing good job over there nss uh, ncc yrc ngo work inclusive learning and national integration camps and preserve promote plant first aid disaster management national digital literacy mission youth parliament youth becoming leader of tomorrow youth symposium walk for freedom rally cancer awareness and be the change you want to see remarkable something very very interesting uh i must compliment uh, both of you both the ladies have given such a wonderful thought to all of us this morning ma'am would you be kind enough to close the presentation so that yes. i can just get into the thank you ma'am thank, yeah, thank you thank you i'm so grateful i'm so grateful so that's remarkable uh, views and let's have the concluding remark from both the ladies and before we come on to that uh, as you know that every day before we close the session we always work out because our chamber for the last 8 years is working with a lot of people music for mathematics music for physics music for chemistry music for biology music for art craft culture heritage science non medical medical music is integral part of everything we all got to understand so we will close the session on that but before that let me have the final take from dr gauri ma'am and thereafter dr nirmala ma'am whatever they would like to tell children teachers and particularly our girl child and women empowerment closing remarks by both the ladies dr gauri ramachandran ji whatever be the situation the level playing be in the same plateau never like when the joy comes you overwhelm and when the sorrow comes you are just deepen with the sorrow and so it becomes difficult to come up to your original level so they you just love as you are and then be very calm quiet and be bold there are a lot of things you know to make our self stress free because we give a lot of programs on stress uh, and uh, stress free management techniques and so now is the day when we will have been so much circulated with so much of you know uh, news is which is alarming us with the corona going up and things like that so let's not be like we listen and then put a barrier that those are all not affecting internally and see what we could do in turn to come out of others how much we can help them to come out of it and how much not just forwarding forwarding and making others inbox cluttered instead do something really worthwhile significantly keeping our mind very cool and calm it's quite easy to say just practice certain amount of meditation so now what i would just say is there is no need that oh you know yoga you will learn so many years you been practicing there is no need to practice so many years to learn now three simple pranayamas just in uh, text anything in the google we have we are living in the google days and in whatsapp and youtube days so we do things and simple you may get two three patterns you whichever is quite easy for you in the same vernacular language you get it comfortable to you to teach shorter videos you could do it and then see a longer video so that the significance of it whatever you missed it you'll be able to do three man pranayamas you just do five time five minutes three times a day you are quite safe and mentally strong it's not just to protect yourself from corona or anything else but for you also before you perform anything else do some kind of a mudra and i again come with another very powerful superstar in tamil nadu uh, rajnikanth you can always see him he'll hold his hand like this this chin mudra always why he'll be tensed what people will be questioning him or whatever it is whatever the joy he you can just keep him in see him in this even if he's talking and doing things and one hand will be in the chin mudra it's making yourself calm cool and you don't give out words which is unnecessarily making others angry and you won't get yourself angry that's all as simple as it when that is in your control with that one chin mudra what else is the secret our yogic 
pandits have given it to us thanks to patanjali ji uh, maharshi so uh, there is absolutely people need not worry about it uh, that i have not learned for ages i i can't learn those things just frame those frames take out from yours now see if you can get somebody who can just do it online easily for you join along with the group our group fb we in we have uh, one hour morning 6:30 to 7:30 uh 5:45 to 6:30 is asanas and 5:30 to 6:30 is pranayama meditation chakra meditation mudra meditation mantra meditation all clubbed in a very nice capsule form i'll just you those who are interested can give the link very limited persons you can log in only by our teacher can see and we can only be doing it along with him so it will be quite interesting any newcomer can join because our a uh, guruji will just every day he'll just say the mudra has this benefit that benefit keep this like this like a small parrot he'll tell as if we are joining today he'll keep repeating it so uh, otherwise also you can just google search and then get these three pranayamas make yourself calm cool so that any situation whether it is financial psychological physiological anything you can handle well wonderful thank you very much certainly kindly give us the link we all would be very keen about it calm cool and chin mudra and rajnikanti thank you that's great dr nirmala alex ji ma'am your yeah, yeah please at the outset i am very grateful to the organizers for giving me this opportunity i am very grateful to god so i want to say important is have a spiritual caution okay. trust god no matter what religion you belong trust god he never fails so this is my uh, humble request to all the youth trust god never give up never go into any anti social activity never divert your energy utilize your energy for constructive cause even this pandemic has taught us a new online learning mode go to the field understand wherever you are reach out to your neighborhood there are no limitations for reaching out as ma'am said reach out within your own domains wherever you are your domestic worker who is working give her a right a migrant workers reach out in your own way give them a helping hand maybe a dry ration it is possible so trust god social domain reach out be socially active never give up and say my god this world is dark everything is pessimistic i am going to be the light i am going to light the world and i am going to make others happy a warm smile a person who is coming as a conservancy worker she is contributing to maintain the hygiene of the society give her a helping hand reach out to her give her a warm smile reach out with her that is important youth we have to empower our youth in this line of thinking never go into getting addicted to media media is a double edged sword use it for the betterment of society use it for your knowledge use it for the glory of god don't use it to become addicted and say i want to sell at any cost if i don't want if i don't get i commit suicide so this as ma'am said parental role model help them to understand let them to accept what the limitations are enjoy your strength god given talents nurture it do not compare yourself the moment you start comparing the the self loneliness comes within you the social domain psychological domain as ma'am said do meditation yoga spiritual exercise meditate reflect and breathe in breathe in exercise and calm your mind soul and body and say that thank god i am able to breathe today if i am able to breathe today it's because of god's gift of life respect environment respect nature fourth thing wow. Wow. economic issues reach out god has given us plentiful be as ma'am said be happy with what you are and give that to others don't hold it tight the more you give the joy multiplies so even in this limitations we can make others happy we see our students we tell them we join them to go to the field we tell them reach out they are so happy ma'am we went to the community we talk to them about even children today don't know about hand wash a simple basics of life they don't know how to use a soap to wash hands this is simple technology but tell children you can do that you are capable the children gets not only empowered but knows there is a child suffering so my food i will not waste i will preserve it and i will give for the other child so whenever my mother cooks food i will not waste it i will see that it is shared and distributed to all as ma'am rightfully said savings right from childhood fourth important thing we all should come together networking is very important because government resources are there ngos are there hospitals are there philanthropists are there why not we all come together use the social media one of my student did crowd funding she said ma'am i'm going to reach out to a community because children with offline education 
they do not have access to online education they cannot afford so let me start crowdfunding let me do something in the community encourage you be part of them and youth have got very divergent thinking i think we as elders must give way for the youth empower them and enlighten them and see that they bring about change in society so i am really grateful to god and to sirs to all the respected sirs giving me this platform and my college for really giving me this platform i conclude a teacher affects eternity no one knows where an influence stops and this i learned it from my teachers i hope i will be a drop in this mighty ocean thank you one and all wow wow great great both the ladies extraordinary brilliant powerful outstanding uh, communication skills and connecting skills with all of uh, when uh, dr gauri ramachandran ji was talking about uh, ladies and gentlemen let me share with you there is one professor ramachandran in america and he says why there is no humor in education please see it on the youtube you will enjoy it why not to bring humor in education and when i was listening to dr nirmala alex ji for the for the moment i just took my eyes from the camera and i was not watching my monitor and i talked i thought nirmala sitaraman ji is speaking <laughs> so the thing is what i am sharing all of you is that they are so powerful they are so good women empowerment is so important so important ladies and gentlemen we respect women we should take them in it, the the entire journey and india will become 5 trillion economy only when you follow that the women got to be partner in each and every field of our development process otherwise 5 trillion economy बिकॉज वो आपको छोटा वाला गुल्लक तो मिल गया डॉक्टर गौरी मैम का लेकिन वहां से यू आर सेविंग ओनली फ्यू क्वाइंस यू गट टू मूव अहेड इन दैडर एंड वी हैव टू बिकम फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी सेल्फ रिलायंट इंडिया सो लेस इन जनमेन बिफोर क्लोजिंग एंड कन्वेइंग आर ग्रेटिट्यूड एंड थैंक्स टू बोथ द लेडीज आई शुड नॉट फॉरगेट अरु मुगम जी थैंक यू वेरी मच वॉट यू हैव रिटर्न ओवर हियर आई रीड इट थैंक्स अ लॉट एंड पूरन सिंह जी वी इन्वॉल्व अबाउट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड Puran Dr Puran Singh ji is the director for Swachh Bharat he has mentioned and he was watching the entire program on behalf of government of india we involved that 1200 ncc cadets nss volunteers from eight colleges of ludhiana in punjab d to d awareness campaign of solid waste management 3 hours of making uh, there is some boodha darya fresh garbage and that project they have taken they are taking some more projects also and of course colonel kc manan ji how can i forget you you are the sutradhar you are the person who have brought both the powerful ladies for the women empowerment colonel sab is writing indeed very powerful message highly motivating and inspiring and to from both the ladies our gratitude to both the distinguished speakers and to of course uh, i uh, dash 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 that he is telling about me i don't want to read that <laughs> okay now before i close i'm tempted dr gauri ma'am unless you don't have a child in you of 3 years you don't enjoy the life and if god meets me because early in the morning i get up at 3:40 at the age of 72 you would find a very rare combination how is it possible coming from the armed forces background major in the indian army first indian army officer to move on deputation to the ministry of tourism government of india having set up the first national institute for tourism having drafted the whole mba tourism in india and i am a vegetarian i'm a tea totaler i'm a non smoker i have not even tasted pan the bitter leaf what to talk of other things the life can be led the way you want to lead it it's all up to us these are lame excuses if i am going on high altitudes mountains and if i don't take eggs if i don't take non veg then my body is not going to your body has got so much to take on it can take on anything but it's always good to remain like a small child what basically ladies mentioned and three jars spending saving and giving and that all that which has to be taken and finally be socially active and parental role model also before i close the session i'm tempted 
because you know that every session we close with one minute song musical something music in education is very very important so today when dr gauri ji mentioned about uh, ar rahman so ar rahman and hari haran ji that's a beautiful combination of uh, when i talk about tamil nadu but well as the audience they all are from the world over some of them music has got no language you got to just understand i'm not going to sing the whole song i'll sing only the sthai only two lines so that you get the filler what air rahman finance management is right let me get into the mood tu hi re tu hi re tere bina kaise jiyo aaja re aaja re यू ही तड़पान तू मुझको जान रे जान रे जान रे आजा दिल की जमी पे तू तू ही रे तू ही रे this is ar rahman composition hari haran ji but i enjoy music to keep myself amused if i want to remain happy at the age of 72 that's only possible when you have music music and music all around that is something very nice so dr gauri ramachandran ji and dr nirmala alex ji blessings from the elder brother vanakam from the elder brother namaskaram from the elder brother and happy afternoon to both the ladies under the women empowerment this afternoon yes india is rocking women are moving ahead marching ahead and we all got to move ahead